There are a variety of resources that can be used on test day. This video will show how to use Zoom. During testing, Zoom can be used to make what is showing on the screen larger. This is what Zoom will look like once you have followed these next steps. To use Zoom to make the screen larger, select the Zoom In button using your mouse or trackpad. You can select the Zoom In button up to four times to make the image on the screen larger. To take the screen back to the original size, select the Zoom Out button as many times as needed. Note that different devices may require different actions in order to make these selections. Thanks for watching. There are a variety of resources that can be used on test day. This video will show how to use the English glossary. During testing, this tool can be used to get the definition of certain pre-selected words in the answer portion of your computer adaptive test, or CAT. The glossary will look like this once you have followed these next steps. You will notice that some words have a faint border around them. When you place your cursor over one of these words, they will be highlighted. This shows that this word can be selected to access the glossary. Once you select the word using your mouse or trackpad, the glossary box will appear with the definition of the word you selected. Remember, this is only available for words with a faint border around them. If you don't like where the glossary box is, you can use your device to drag it to a different part of the screen. To close the glossary and continue with your test, select the X in the upper right corner of the glossary box. Note that different devices may require different actions in order to make these selections. Thanks for watching. There are a variety of resources that can be used on test day. This video will show how to use masking. This designated support 
is something that may be assigned by a teacher depending on a student's need. During testing, masking can be used to block out any part of the text you do not wish to see by allowing you to select and black out that portion. This is what masking will look like once you have followed these next steps. To use masking, select the masking button in the upper right corner of the screen using your mouse or trackpad. You will notice that once you have selected the masking button, it will change colors indicating you are now able to use it. To mask a part of the text in the reading pane, select and drag until you have a box that contains what you would like to mask. Release your device and the selection will turn dark, masking the section you have selected. Masking can be used in more than one section at a time. If you would like to remove any of the masked sections, select the X in the upper right corner of the masked section. Once you are ready to close masking, select the masking button again. It will change to its original color, indicating that masking is no longer turned on. Note that different devices may require different actions in order to make these selections. Thanks for watching. There are a variety of resources that can be used on test day. This video will show how to use the different types of mouse pointers. This designated support is something that may be assigned by a teacher depending on a student's need. During testing, the pointer will appear as a small white arrow, but there are 10 other options available with varying sizes and colors. The option you may choose must be selected prior to testing. Available options for the mouse pointer are large black, extra large black, large green, extra large green, large red, extra large red, large yellow, extra large yellow, large white, and extra large white. Note that different devices may require different actions in order to make these selections. Thanks for watching.